boys and girls, welcome back to Saints Row the Third. In the last episode, we did some tutorial missions, uh, introducing us to the side content of the game. This mission, we still have some more side content to get through, and I expected it to log me back in where I logged out, but no, it put us back at the safe house. So, quickly, pull out the phone, let's talk to Pierce again. Tank mayhem is what we got going on today, let's see what he has to tell us. You feel like blowing shit up? Go on, I'm all ears. Found the route the Morningstar uses to deliver their goods buried in the syndicate files. You saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck that! I'm saying we use a tank. This may be the best idea you've ever had. Here's the problem. How do I get down? Is this one of those games where I have a parachute by default? Okay, it is. <laughs> Did not know that before I jumped off, so I'm glad we had one. Yeah, we'll take a motorbike. Why not? Head on over here, and then let's see what we got going on. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Tank Mayhem. Actually, no, I lied. This wasn't in the second game. But I get, I get the gist. We're probably just going to blow things up with a tank. Because we're in a new city that we have no power in, but we have a tank somehow. Which I guess isn't that hard of a thing to believe, because we do have a UAV drone. But we didn't take a tank from the military. We took the UAV drone. And ironically, we're in a tank that's called the Challenger, which is like a tank. I don't know if they got naming rights to this tank, but this is a thing that exists. Okay, so yeah, this is just mayhem. Or like whatever that game mode was in the uh, second game. But it's just we have a tank now. I suppose that makes hella sense, as the kids say. Except the sensitivity in this tank is horrible and it takes my entire arm moving to move the tank's barrel. $2,000 cash for $136,000 in property damage. We love to see it. Again, barely any respect as one would get. And then we control more of the Morningstar district. All right, what next? We have more activities. While I'm here, let me buy this property because that's how I roll. What property even is this? High-rise condos. A show. $1,000 for an entire apartment building seems hella sketchy.com, but... Oh, my bad, bro. I was trying to exit that menu. I didn't mean to bitch slap you. All right, what do we got next? Professor Genki. Okay, we're still in the tutorial town. You ready to be a star? I thought we already were. Oh, not like this. You've been personally selected for a spot on a game show here in town. Game show? You're not trying to auction me off on some dating thing, are you? Trust me, you'll love this shit. Meet me and I'll show you. Uh, you better be right. <laughs> okay, so Professor Genki is actually one of the uh, more fun activities in the game. In Saints Row 2, none of the activities were really super fun. The Mayhem was probably the best one, or the uh, insurance fraud one was pretty good too. The one where you ragdolled and got hit by cars. Uh, Professor Genki is actually like a fun and easily doable uh activity that gets you respect i think i mean it does get you respect but like as you've seen we don't really get a lot of respect for what we do hello steelport and welcome to professor genki's super ethical reality climax time to see how the game is played fight your way through professor genki's super sparkle lap for fun and profit now with every man woman and tiger shot your prize money goes up but look out no one likes it when you shoot a panel and it unethical once you've collected enough money the door to the lab opens up and you're free to go but if you think it's that easy you've never seen kinky before oh and one more thing 
On this show, no one gets to take a break. If you want to stay in the fight, be sure to shoot the first aid target. Good luck. It's murder time. Fun time. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? You got it, Zach. If our contestants can survive the deadly traps, armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, oh, they got me. With a hefty pile of cash. They, they got me again. What is the timing? <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. Our competitor oh, isn't from Steelport this time, Zach. Today, we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world-famous Stillwater Street Gang. As many times as this former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over, and generally put... I can't see... I can't see where I'm aiming. Seems pretty routine. Um, routine the pop-up got in my way. You are going to make Professor Yankee-sized dollars driving hoes around, that's for sure. <laughs> Cha-ching. That kind of mistake can be deadly. Apparently, our contestant is quite the hero back in Stillwater. Have you ever been to Stillwater, Bobby? I did, and it wasn't a good trip. My car got covered in sewage by... No, I guess he's never been to Stillwater. Really? What did you do to piss off the driver? I didn't do a damn thing. I just wish I had rented a convertible. Wait, you were in the car when this happened? There's no secondary dialogue. I don't know who he's talking to. This is turning into an exceptional match. In pocket. Is that? It is. We have a oh, present. Goodness. A present is in the maze. Wish we had insta replay on that. All right, let's get a uh, figure this out. The pop-ups. Like watching a non-stop highlight reel. This is turning into an exceptional match. So, Bobby, how do you clean? Is there a health convertible? With a toothbrush. Really? No, I let the rental company take care of it. Are you kidding me? Oh, wasn't that kind of shitty of you? Not as shitty as what this contestant is doing to those mascots. It's that. It is. We have a present. A present is in the maze. Very impressive. Another present. Do I even want it? Like a performance so far. Cash in pocket! Do I want this? I don't even know what this is. I promise I'm actually really good at this activity on controller, but like for some reason on M and K. I don't know. Even the dialogue kinda broke. Have a winner. 42. Okay, you just get the cash you earn in the show. That makes sense. A crumb of respect, as one would. And we still own more of the district somehow. Pierce can be found in your cell phone, and he will help the Saints in combat. Okay, so I think that might be the end of the, the end of the tutorial. We've only just begun. I don't think that's a actual activity. That might be an actual mission. And seeing as how I don't really know what else to do, yeah, let's just do that. I'm surprised the syndicate is still standing after all this shit we've thrown at him. I don't see a reason to stop. Not saying we should. All right, then see you at the broken shillelagh. We've done, like, actual one thing to the Syndicate. Two things, technically. Like, we haven't really done a lot to them. The one mission had nothing to do with the Syndicate. That was, like, just protecting Pierce while he sold things. The Tank Mayhem mission affected the Morningstar, and the uh, gang hideout thing affected the Morningstar. Nothing else we've done has, has really affected the Morningstar. Like, Professor Genki's uh, show didn't really affect the Morningstar. This doesn't seem like your kind of place, Pierce. What's the hate? The beer is cheap, and I'm the best looking motherfucker in here. Look, you may think it's time to kick back, but I'm done toying with these bastards. I want Loren, and I want him now. So where is he? No idea. But 10K says he's hiding out in that big ass skyscraper. Nah, Loren's a tactician. He's not gonna hole up in a building that screams, I'm a criminal mastermind. I need something concrete. To hit up powder. No, uh, I don't have time for a stripper. No, Powder's a designer gun store downtown. I saw some of Loren's thugs talking to the owner. There's gotta be something there. All right, let's go shopping. 
I got a Steam achievement for that. That was the entire mission? That cutscene was the entire mission? Did I miss something? Sure, I guess we call Shandi now. Why is this a separate mission? Shandi, give me good news. We're gonna burn powder to the ground. That's a little extreme. See you there. Shandi, wait. Oh boy. Nope, oh, missed my power speed. This miss I missed my break button. Yeah, this is a little odd that this is a separate mission. Why is this a separate mission? Why was the cutscene the mission? Uh, whatever. Let's drive on our way and go get her done. A lot of people with guns in there. We'll go in the back way. You don't think the back's guarded? There's like two punks. What about the inside, motherfucker? Put in your tampons and let's do this. Oh, it's raining. Oops. Oh, we get to keep the thing that we picked up from the uh, game show. Good to be the king. This rain is like really in the way. It's very thick. It makes it very hard to see what's going on. Why is this rain so thick? You said two guys, not my fault. No, I'm serious. This is my kind of plan. Why is... Are the NPCs broken? Why is there no audio? Or am I just not hearing it? Let's get inside. Okay, now she's talking. I heard that. It's like we're missing half the uh, dialogue. Let's head to the office and see if they're hiding under their desk. Because, like, the guy at the uh, Professor Genki's thing definitely was also not talking. Yeah, I'm a bot right now. I'm just... Let me hide here for a sec. Okay, not that way. Understood. That's a taser. Come on, brother. Not super hard to deal with. You ain't lost. Oh, that's a lot of dudes in one door. How many is that? Like 11 dudes, one door? If you know, you know. I always win. Now they're all over there. This is goofy. I don't know what's going on. Let's just go. Let's just figure life out as we go along, yeah? shooting gallery is this a bug like are there actually supposed to be this many enemies we have we got an upgrade okay cool 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 
One sec. I'll look at that when I'm not being shot at by to my loins. an insane amount of enemies for no reason. Get into that office. We're not giving them a choice. Like, I get it. It's supposed to be a heavily defended area, but, like, is there supposed to be this many people? Because I know in certain games there's, like, an FPS bug where, like, if the FPS is too high that the game isn't used to, like, well, stuff like that will happen. But, like, also more enemies will just spawn in. Guess the manager cleared out. I'll get what I can off the computer. Could be a problem. Might not be a problem. Might be how it's intended to be. I don't know. I was expecting more of a wave defense kind of sequence there at the end. I'm not going to lie. I thought we had to wait for Shandi to download inf information, but nope. 6K, sure. We love that. And we came out of the firefight pre-aiming at a civilian. Fantastic. That might have just been how that was supposed to be. Granted, it's probably been at least a decade since I've played Saints Row the Third, so I don't really remember these missions in their entirety. So maybe there were that many guys the last time I played it, I just don't remember, but that seems like a goofy amount of enemies, especially on the one encounter when they opened the door and there were like 10 of them. But again, maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. The game also might just have its own set of issues, which, you know, let's be fair, it probably does. And if that's the case, that's the case. It's fine. I'm, it's not really game breaking. I'm not that upset about it, but like some of the goofy things that happen are very goofy. Pierce, we've waited long enough. Now we go for Loren. It won't be easy. That whole tower's got to be crawling with Morningstar. Since when have we done things the easy way? True. So what's the plan? Kill everyone we see and find Loren? Makes sense. Meet me at the penthouse. I'll call Shandi. Shandi, it's time. Just tell me where to be. We're meeting at the penthouse. I am gonna kill that son of a bitch. Don't worry. He won't get away this time. You bet your ass he won't. I got credit for a near miss achievement and then... Yeah, like that. Where did that guy come from? They're dead. Like, they glitched so hard that they hit the ground and died. Yeah, like I said, this game just might have its own set of issues that are plaguing it. But, like, yeah, there's a lot of goofy things happening that shouldn't be happening. You know, while I'm here, let me buy it. All right, my bad. I did jaywalk. Nope, did not want to take her hostage. Son of a bitch! I wanted to buy this. I didn't want to take her hostage and kill her, but... A little bit of a janky animation, but I appreciate your donation to the cause. I don't remember... This is where we meet Oleg, right? If this is the mission where we go into, like, the headquarters? Uh, that's a little big for you. Give me the goddamn gun, Pierce. Okay. All right, let's give that motherfucker what's coming to him. Really hope this song isn't copyrighted because otherwise this video is going to be seen by nobody. And if you're not hearing a song right now, guess what? It was copyrighted. You sure you want to do this, Shandi? Don't worry about me. I need this. Loren has to pay for what he did, and I want to be there when he gets what he deserves. No worries, girl. We're not stopping with Loren. We're taking out his whole fucking syndicate. I think we'll need to do a little more than kill one guy to do that. We didn't steal that bomb for nothing. All right, we did steal a bomb. How did you think finding Philippe would be? Come on, he's a criminal mastermind. He's got to be on the top floor. It's like a rule. You think he's going to be that cliche? Doesn't matter. We're killing everyone. I mean, sucks to suck, but shouldn't have done that. Well, it's all taken care of. As soon as we make sure the loading dock is clear, they'll drive it in. How many times you gonna check that gun? How long is it gonna take us to get there? I was just asking. Save it for the rest, Jones. Thank God whatever car I'm in appears to have plot armor because I should definitely need a new car by now. You know, do the damn thing. This tower also seems kind of out of place, but... Who am I to judge? They ain't fucking around here. Oh. 
poor dude already got taken hostage. Ooh, gets the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! I'm impressed. Shit, they have snipers in here. You think all packages are this hard to drop off here? Ha ha, can you just shoot them? Excuse me, sniper. Please don't shoot me. Why is the construction fighter fighting me? Or the construction worker fighting me? Bro, you were just taken hostage by these people I'm fighting. That big guy really doesn't want us to get inside. No, we gotta take out the little guys first, but they're not peeking. can't fight come on okay come on I didn't expect anything less from you Is that Carlos He punched me in midair. Can I finally reload my gun? Dude, I actually cannot get away from this guy. Like, what is my combat role? Button combo is a little awkward to actually initiate the movements I need to initiate. And that's probably a me problem, but like still. I just look stupid trying to get away from this guy. Here's our delivery now. Yep, the goofy in <laughs> Yep, they're still being goofy, just running into things. Arm bomb. Bomb said and the clock's ticking. Why didn't we wait to do that until after we kill Loren? That's a really good question. We should move. What did you do? It wasn't me. It just stopped. Did you really expect to walk straight up to my office when I could hold the building? Shit. Honestly, yeah. Too easy. Also, considering how, like bad people and saints games works i assume you just had the hubris to assume you would have lived and fought us anyway also did i make dude's name up his name is oleg right i mean we'll find out but like did i make that name up or did i actually remember his name like all those big guys you keep seeing clones makes sense to me what uh, okay maybe makes sense was too strong what should we call these guys who cares they're blowing up with the rest of this place how about bricks they hit like they're made of this stuff bricks really all right what would you call them john you ain't getting out of this works are you Hello. i'm the best around I gotta change my sensitivity at some point. Maybe between episodes. Also see if there's a way to turn off the uh, slow down sensitivity whenever you aim down sight. Alright, shoot his gas tank. Jesus. Shoot. Now I'm on fire. Okay. I want to get away. I really do. Why can I not shoot his gas tank? Shoot. 
shooting his gas tank is a thing, right? Why is he... Okay, it is. I was like, damn. This MP7 kind of sucks. And by kind of, I mean really sucks. The basic pistol is a one-tap headshot, but like the MP7 just... Holy shit, bro. The hell is all this? Philip likes his things custom made, and for his brutes, I am the master pattern, you see. Why are you still strung up if they already cloned your ass? The copies are flawed. They have my brawn, but not my brain. I can help you. The last time a big naked dude said he could help me, it did not end well. What could he do anyway? Those wires and shit are probably keeping him alive. Trust me, I'm still strong enough to kill Philippe. Want some clothes, man? No time. Man, like I said, last time a big naked dude. This elevator will take us to the offices. All right, let's go. Thank God the game blurs you uh, by default. Follow me to Philip's office. Seriously, man, you know, if you want, I can find you like a curtain or something for you, you know? The human body is nothing to be ashamed of, unless you have insecurities. I'm good. Hey, man, you got a name? My name is Oli Kirloff. So, what did you do before you were a glorified pincushion? I think it's best for our friendship I never elaborate. Just know that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. As long as you oppose the syndicate, you have nothing to fear from me. Works for me. Welcome to the Saints. Okay, his name is Oleg. This way. Damn it! That's an express elevator to the basement. There's no way to catch him. Fuck that. What is the game plan here? I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one. Hurry it up. He's getting away. How is this the game plan? I know this game is like silly, but like even I don't remember this. wise how would that work we should be dead it just should have thought of a belgian pancake joke Time to blow this place to hell. I hate this place more than anyone, but it would be folly to destroy Philip's research without seeing what we can harvest from it. We came here to send a message, didn't we? Why not keep the building for yourself? Your choice here, boss. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the building. It seems like the, uh, the more, the better option anyway. Also, the, uh, giant rolly ball went through the door that was closed in the cutscene. We're gonna have to do something about the pink. 
You'd prefer a more manly shade, like purple? The Belgian problem complete. How much cash? 6k for taking over another giant skyscraper that they owned. Fantastic. More respect. We love that. And we have the... Oh, we have the thing that takes over civilian cars. Not really necessary, but it is a plot device later in the game. And now we have Oleg as a homie. And we get more money. Although I don't really... It'll probably come in handy. I know most of you are probably, like, questioning if you're complaining about how little respect you get, why did you not take the respect bonus? Great question. Valid question. When I left Stillwater for the Senate, I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. My husband gave his life defending Stillwater from gang violence. It is my greatest privilege to honor him with this bridge. What the? spot boys Whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They're Killbane's thugs. Kill who? He's the Syndicate's attack dog. What he did to Johnny's funeral, that's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about the rules of engagement. Uh, no rules? I can work with that. You're not ready to fight the Syndicate. Watch us. Just relax, Shandi. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war! All right, who's first? Picking up a girl named Kenzie Kensington. The Deckers are holding her on a barge on the river. What's her deal? Oleg said she was with the FBI. The fuck you say? Don't stress. She was kicked out. So we're getting a shitty fat. Aw, oh, don't start hating because we're getting a new girl. Are you serious? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm not jealous. Who said jealous? That's all on you, girl? Oh, my God. Flirt later. Why was Kinsey booted? Oleg didn't give me all the details, but he made it sound like Kinsey was about to out the syndicate so the Deckers set her up for a fall. Ugh. I hope she's worth the hassle. Only one way to find out. We gotta get on that barge. All right, and after that info dump and forced cutscene that I honestly didn't want to start in this episode, we got the achievement for completing Act 1. So, we're gonna call episode there, and then we'll pick up next episode by saving Kenzie, I guess. I don't know what mission we're doing. I don't know what the name of this mission is because I didn't pick it, but yeah, we'll pick up next episode with saving Kenzie, and I think there's other people we have to save or get on our side, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Until then, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have liked it, sub down below, and until next time, a pizza.